Hi folks, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jana Adams and with me I have... Bryn Dias. And we also have Frankie and he's kind of wandering around and hopefully we think he should be hungry. And I have some treats over here so we'll see if that is an accurate statement and we can get an appearance uh, by him. So first off, I wanna give a big shout out to our buddy, Kristen D. I'm sure that most of you, if not all of you watch her. She is a reseller from upstate New York and she recently did uh, a jewelry sale of her, some of her, and what is it called? Touchstone crystal, that's it. Whew. Um, she recently did a video, uh, um, an auction of some of her touchstone crystal jewelry, which is a, an online version of the Swarovski crystals. And I picked up a couple of pieces, so I felt it would be very fitting for me to show off some of my new baubles. So I have, and <laughs> Brynn is also multitasking and taking steak out of the oven. Um, so I have my ring <laughs> here, which is my favorite piece for sure. I saw this ring and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. please. I know ah. how everyone loves when I do this. Oh, it's our favorite. <laughs> Everybody loves it. It's a crowd favorite to zoom in. <laughs> there we go. And then I have Deborah from Timeless Jewel by Deborah was telling Marilyn and I today that they are calling for snow. She's in the Chicago suburb area somewhere. And so I felt like, well, I've got to wear the snowflake. I am a huge snow lover. And then I also have the earrings that match the ring. And see. All right, we've got it. I think that was a good so. smooth zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> All fancy over there from the director. Oh, fancy pants. <laughs> so um, we have Irene had requested she was um, kind of fun boxed and mystery boxed out. That's not fair. She likes the bins hauls. So with that being said, um, Bryn stopped on the way home from work today. And sorry, that is rowdy. Then she is mad because she's not in the kitchen with us. <laughs> And so Bryn stopped at the bins today and we figured normally I make her wait a couple of days because we have other videos lined up. And I felt like today we would just dive right in and she was so excited when I told her, hey, Irene wants you to do, wants us to do some, some bins hauls. And she was like, oh my gosh, can we do a video tonight? So that was perfect timing. And so we are going to show you what Bryn got, what, an hour ago? Uh -huh. And so I'll be posting this video, it's Veterans Day today. And we thank all of our veterans for their service and for giving us the freedoms that we so love. And, um, and so thank you. And hopefully everyone was able to honor their loved ones that have served or are serving. So that being said, um, I'm going to dive into what she found. Now again, she works in Winston-Salem and uh, drives through Greensboro to get home. And so this was a bins haul that was on the way home. It's about five miles outside, or five minutes um, outside of her normal commute. So it's really, really on the way, which is great. And so she likes to stop and just do a quick circle and see if they pull out any fresh bins while she's there. And they did. So we will see what she was able to get. Some of the stuff I have seen, but just pictures of it, I have not seen it in person. So let's dive right in and see what we've got. So the first one, you guys I'm sure will remember me saying that we love to pick up these utility tokes. They come in extremely handy. This is what I use to um, take packages to the post office. And I really like them for that and I have started to use them. I keep them in my car for Costco. So at this point we have so many that we're able to just keep a couple of extras in the car and then I can just swap them out. And this one looks like it says flipping off with flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little bit more narrow than a lot of them, but it's a deeper one. So love that. Is that a 31? It is a 31. Yep. 31 is right. Okay. 
Excellent. Seems to be in good condition. It does, it does. So I don't know if you guys remember, but recently we did on one of our, one of our, one of Bryn's Ben's hauls, she picked up this vintage, I remember this because my brother had, I think, the toiletry bag um, back in the day when he bought his Ralph Lauren polo cologne. But it is this, and it may be the same duffel that we got. I thought that it was um, something else, a different piece, though. I, I think, think it, it was, is. I think that it was a different piece. But this has the actually the really nice shoulder strap to it. And the fabric is a thinner fabric. You know, it was definitely one of those free with purchase type coats and not the regular Ralph Lauren quality. But honestly, guys, it looks unused. Now, what did they say were the comps on the other one? Do you remember? I don't remember. I, I'm not sure that I even looked it up because it's still not listed. It's still in a bag upstairs. So what we were thinking is that we would probably put both pieces together and so it would be like a two piece luggage set now that we have another piece that matches. And we're not sure if Bryn's father is going to want these because he does love his Ralph Lauren or if we will list it. So to be determined, but if anyone is interested, let us know because he doesn't know they exist and he also doesn't have internet or any desire to have internet. So he also can't figure out that it exists. So, next we have, okay, so this one Bryn was a little on the fence on. Ooh, it is nice. Because it is beat up. <laughs> I mean, it is, it has got some pretty significant damage on that side. But this is a vintage, ooh, and I can pull it out, which is great a vintage New York City coach bag. Got it. And again, it has definitely seen, I was thinking that it was the dinky, but it's much bigger than the dinky is. And it has the removable um, shoulder strap to it. And I wonder, that does not look adjustable. I was thinking if that was adjustable, it could also be a crossbody. Again, it does have signs of significant wear to it. Let me see what the inside looks like. You know, the inside is just the raw suede. So it's actually not bad. But I just don't know what we do about that. The leather, oh yeah, and that right there. So I feel like it's either going to be a cobbler, and depending on what the cobbler says, we will um, list it as a project bag, and somebody that has good rehab experience can buy this from us for cheap. So if you're one of those people, let me know. Real, we, real cheap. We have, we have a coach for you. Next up, Evan Williams bourbon. Little trucker hat. And this looks, uh, it does have a little bit of, well, maybe. No, I don't think so. I was going to say a little bit of wear on the inside. Sometimes the camera shows up more than we can see with our eye. But we'll, regardless, we'll run it through the wash. We have one of those hat um, shape things that are designed so that it, it keeps its. There's another hat right there, Frankie had on the floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Patagonia hat, same thing. We'll wash this one. There's a little bit of, of um, it looks like something may have spilled on it. Like some water or something may have spilled on it. But we'll wash that one. And it's Patagonia, so good, good find. And then we have this one, which is DPC, Dorfman Pacific Company. Let's hold on one minute. One minute. I'm trying to get that. And it is, is this coated canvas? 52% so. cotton, 48% polyester, size large. It has a very coated canvas, almost leathery feel to it. And it definitely has a leathery look to it. So that was a pretty neat hat. Next up we have Coach. So it is 
I was wondering what this was because it has the wristlet, but then it's the accordion style wallet. This thing is in really good condition. It didn't even look like it was used at all. Uh, there's a little bit of something that spilled on the inside, but in, but other than that, the leather is in. So accordion style, mm -hmm. wristlet strap, which that's what was throwing me off because it looked like a wallet, but typically the wallets don't have the wristlet strap to it. Really good condition. Next up, I did not see this, but Vera Bradley little um, card ID wallet or coin purse. And Bryn knows that if she finds Vera Bradley, I have a little liquidations loyalty card. If she finds Vera Bradley pieces in good condition because of how little they weigh and how much we have in our closet. We are the Vera Brad, we're getting to be the Vera Bradley one-stop shop. So as soon as I get all of our Vera Bradley listed. Ooh, and I'm excited about this. I have been giving these away with as free gifts still. And I'm trying to be more diligent about that. And so it's, and I love that color. I wish we had had that when we had that I coach know. Blue Hounds tooth. What a great little makeup pouch that would have been for their purse. It really would have been great. But, so we have this one. And so this will add to the collection of the free makeup bags with purchase. And I try to match them, but I don't have them all pulled out. And I'm starting to run out. So I'm just trying to do the best I can as far as that goes. So I'm glad that you've got your eye out. And this, she wasn't sure of, and I looked up listed comps and they were great. And then I looked up sold comps and they were good. Not as great as the listed. <laughs> but it is bricks. And then inside it's Got it. And it's just this tote bag, and then it has this pouch. And the pouch has a strap in it, I think. Oh, it has the crossbody strap? Oh, I bet that that's to attach. Oh, okay. To something inside of here. Okay. Because it does have the snaps. And the ones that I was seeing online were also showing the same thing where the pouch was included. So I believe that the pouch is included. Yeah, just snaps into the purse so that you can, if you're using this as a little travel tote. Oh. So it's like that. And then you have your little pouch that you can okay. pull out. And it does have the little um, thing on the back so that you can attach it to your luggage and then again this little doohickey thingy which yeah I don't know I don't know but it clearly goes with the piece so we'll keep it in there but yeah I'm not seeing any signs of wear to this at all And inside looks spotless too. So great pickup, Bryn. We love getting things in this kind of condition because we're not always that lucky. And then this one is a 31 and it's called Jewel by 31. And so it's got the jewel right there. What is that? brand or what is that i don't know I, mean, I know 31 but and then inside we know that it's 31 i knew right off because bren sent me the inside and it's the lining is like that oh, there's a rip in the lining oh man oh I just no saw it. i just yep. saw it so sure enough when you did that we've got a rip there and a rip over here where the lining that was a brand fail Bren fail. That's Bren all right. You gotta fail. learn. So you get, you know, it's a learning curve. Bren fail. We all do it. 
And I bet that if I had not held it at the, that the perfect right angle, that you probably would not have noticed. And Can it is polyurethane, it's not leather. Can we fix that or not? No. Free with purchase. Yes, if anyone wants this, you pay for shipping and it's yours. Mm. So this thing is stained. This poor thing, I don't know what this person was thinking or where they went. <laughs> but what an amazing bag. Lacoste, but it is white. And these people treated it the way that I would treat it. And boy, it shows. It does. But, and what's crazy is inside looks unused. Yeah, he can't really see it, but. But we're gonna treat it, I'm gonna do some kind of a, I'll do a stain cleaner first and try that. It's like a nylon fabric and see if that works. I really don't wanna do bleach because I think that bleach on nylon will yellow it, but we'll see what we can come up with. What about a magic eraser? Yeah, we'll try some different things for sure. Okay. And then, in true fashion, Land's End, huge tote bag. It is monogrammed with somebody's monogram on it, but we don't care about that. And it is in very good condition. No signs of corner, well, maybe a little bit of fading, but no, not even the beginning of holes. And just a nice large, it does have a few things that were spilled inside, so we'll probably just run it through the wash okay. and see how it comes out. And if nothing else, it will be a, a tote bag for uh, supplies, reseller supplies and such. Or if anyone sees any of these project bags and you order something. <laughs> All you have to do is say the word. All you have to do. So these are Justin boots. They're definitely dry. I need to condition them and dirty. And they do have a flaw. And we had talked about, should we, should we put them back or should we keep them? Should we put them back or should we keep them? And I told her, I think that on these, what I'm gonna do is we've been having the conversation with you guys and with each other about polishing shoes. Quick FYI, I have done nothing other than list a few new with tags items for the last like week and a half. So I've not spent much time cleaning much of anything. So haven't really needed to revisit it, but I think that what I'm gonna do, and tell me what you guys think. I think that I'm gonna do a picture of the front, picture of the back towards the bottom of the listing that shows the flaws. Then in the description, I'm going to say, I used a dye to cover up this and to cover up the very minor toe wear that we have. And then once I use the black dye that I have, leather dye that I have, I'll use a polish on these and then buff them out really good to try to get them the best that I can. But everyone will be able to see in the listing and in the description, not only the photos, but the um, um, the description itself that that's what I had done with those. What do you guys think? Good idea? I what hate to not do anything. What size are they? And I also don't think that shoe polish enough is going to be enough to fix them. These are a size 11. Okay. And, and they're in... What's the style number? Very good condition. Style is... One, four, three, six. Thank you. All right, next up we have Clarks. These are probably not the most fashion forward, but they are in very good condition. And so we will keep picking up Clarks because they keep selling. I will say that some of these more mature styles um, are sitting a little longer but they're great comfort shoes, they're great quality shoes, and so we will keep picking them up. Have we um, sold any of the more mature style? Yeah. Okay. Size seven. Yeah, we have. 
they just don't get the same level of interest as some of the others. Then we have a John Deere pink trucker style hat. I was looking to see if there's a size. Uh, no, no size. I guess it's adjustable, so it really doesn't matter. Then she found these, which are awesome. Let me move these boots. <laughs> I was like, are those chaps? Are those really chaps? And she never <laughs> answered me. I guess that now I have my answer. I don't even know how these go, but they are chaps. Let me get them. Ugh, okay. <laughs> chaps, guys, at the bins. <laughs> so, you know, snaps, zipper, size extra small. Let me find that size again. Okay. They are leather, right? Yeah, they have to be. Jammin' leather. Jamin. Jamin. I mean, they're saying. Seems like it wouldn't be a company called Jammin' Leather if they weren't leather. Right. <laughs> and there might be something inside that tells me. Okay. But those are pretty awesome. So we have chaps. Oh, and they do have, that's pretty cool. They've got the little pocket right here that has their little logo. That's pretty neat. What is the name of the company? Jammin Leather. J-A-M-I-N Leather. Do they look like leather? Yeah. Okay. They smell like leather? Yeah. Because there's a jam and leather outlet in Myrtle Beach. Oh, okay. Oh, and it looks like we have the identical pair of shoes. So this woman must have loved this style. I wonder if they're the same size. Size 6 medium. So I, well, they've both been worn. So I don't know. But size 7, size 6. Maybe she bought the wrong size, went back, they wouldn't return the one pair because she had worn them. So she just bought the pair that she wanted. So Bryn did not want to get these. And I looked up comps and the main reason that she did not want to get them is they have a scuff right here, which they do. And the whites, I'm not worried about the whites. I can work on that with magic eraser and alcohol and all that jazz. My magic eraser, I try guys, but man, it just shreds. Do you wet it for me? Yeah. Yeah, and it just like disintegrates all over. I mean, it works, right? but it takes like, for me, like a full pad yeah. to get a pair clean. So, but I mean, I guess that, you know, maybe that's just the cost of it. And what's weird is I have a price tag in these, but they don't look new. But then when I was, well, they're not new because they've got dirt on them. And the bottoms, I don't know. You got me. Anyway, they have a $90 price sticker right here. It's kind of dark, I can't really see them. Okay, so anyway, $90 price sticker, $89.77. And they are Piccolinos. I had not heard of this brand. I don't know if you guys have but the comps looked promising. Even ones that looked in similar condition were going for 30 to $40 without being cleaned up that I can see. And last item, this was I think as she was on her way out the door, we have a pair of diesel sneaker tennis shoes. Yes, they were on the way out the door. And they are in very good condition. A little bit of pilling to the shoelaces. Irene, am I allowed to sweater shave shoelaces? I'm guessing not. <laughs> but I told Bryn, we can just buy new shoelaces. I'm not too worried about that. And it does look like they are, oh, they're almost like a new buck with a suede. They're really neat. And these are a size. US seven, size 37. So I don't know if they're men or women's. I'm sure that when we look it up and we look up 37, that'll tell uh -huh. us. 
whether they're men's or women's based on that, but very good condition. So that was, yep, that was today's bins haul. So you kind of get what you get from the bins, I think. What did you spend? $40? Uh, yeah, 39 With which I'm guessing that between the, the chaps and, you know, maybe the boots. Yeah, that will make our money back. Although those might sit for a while. But the boots, I would think, would come close to 40 bucks yeah. once I get them all cleaned up. Maybe that um, coach wallet or coach wristlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hope that all... And who knows about that coach. I, I seriously, I think that I might take that coach. I still have been talking about how I need to get to our cobbler. There's one in the next town, which is about 20 minutes away. And I just need to go have a conversation with him and figure out what his expertise is. Um, maybe do the same uh, with one of the cobblers in Greensboro and see what their skill set is and just take them a piece or two and just see how it turns out because I just don't know I don't know what I don't know until I talk to them what they can fix and what they can't whether they're just really you know resoling shoes and doing new heel taps or whether they can do more detailed leather work so we'll see because most of the stuff I need to take them is um, bags purses and bags so that vintage coach was pretty cool it was a neat find even if we get nothing for it even if it's a complete loss and you know we don't get any takers to do a project rehab on it you know you got to pick them up we need to bring our scales down when we do these bins off nah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Bryn wants to know how much everything weighs she said man those boots and the uh, the chaps really threw off they they, they really messed this one all up because I got some good stuff for pretty cheap because a lot of it was lightweight. But then these two things probably weigh, gosh, seven pounds between the two of them. These boots are heavy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watch, watching. If you liked this video and you want to see more, if you will hit the, what do we want them to hit? You need to do this part for me. Oh, Bryn just took a bite of food, sorry. Okay, hit the subscribe button. If you see it red, that means that you are not subscribed. We would love to have you subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button and leave us a comment and let us know what your favorite piece is. And if you're interested in anything in any of our hauls or any of our videos, please just let us know. We would love to work out some kind of a deal with you. I can list on Poshmark and we can go through the app. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. And if I quote you a price and you decide you still want to use Poshmark, we can still do it that way. We'll work with our subscribers. We want to give you guys some good deals. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, everyone. And hope you enjoyed as well, Irene. Thank, thank you. Thank you. This is for you, Irene. Thank you. Thanks. Have Bye. a good night.